Okay, moving on um, with our transformations. We are now um, at the point that we are talking about, I can use an algebraic rule to represent the reflection of a figure or point on a coordinate plane. So that is our goal for the next day or two. We actually are going to do reflections by themselves for a couple of days. I hope you got a coordinate grid and I hope you got the reflection notes. Um, we are going to start with the coordinate grid. Okay, so let's talk about this. I know that you all have, have seen this many times. I know you have been uh, using it, but we want to make sure that we understand because reflections, it'll help you maybe understand. Okay, so we have a four quadrant grid, and I don't, this is always our vertical axis, is always our y axis, and our horizontal is our x axis. We have four quadrants. One way you can remember what the quadrants are is if you start and draw a C for center on your coordinate grid, that tells you you start in quadrant one, and then you go to quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four, and they usually do them in Roman numerals, okay? Here's your origin right here in the middle, and when you are reflecting, you are flipping. And um, for eighth grade math, we are going to either reflect over the x-axis or we're going to reflect over the y-axis. And we're going to come back to this in just a few minutes. I'm going to go over our notes and then we will finish off with this. Okay? So, a reflection. Let's get to our notes. A reflection is a transformation which flips the figure over a given line. And if you notice in the word reflection, there is FL, and that's supposed to be your clue to flip, okay? Translation had an SL, that's a slide, and FL is a flip. So it's flipping the figure, all right? The line that it flips over is called the line of reflection. Now, I, if I go too fast, please don't hesitate to pause, okay? In eighth grade, because you will see this again, but not until you get into geometry, um, but in eighth grade in high school, we only reflect over the x-axis and the y axis. In other words, your line of reflection is either going to be the x axis or the y axis, which makes it fairly simple to do then. Okay? Remember, eighth grade is all about rules. It says triangle ABC is being reflected over the x axis. The first thing I'm going to do when I see that x axis, I'm going to find my x axis and I'm going to darken it. And I'm, I could have done this with a highlighter, but I'm trying to do it like you would do it if you only had a pencil to use. Okay? So I'm going to darken it, which will help me remember which way I'm reflecting. It says draw and label the image triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So I need to flip this triangle over the x-axis. Do you see how my, my little pinky is A, okay? And when I flip, my little pinky ends up on the bottom, doesn't it? All right, so that is what a flip is. You're flipping over. So if I flip, how we figure out where it will be is we count the distance from each of our points to the axis that we're flipping over, and then we go in the opposite direction that many. Here's the example. If I'm at A, I'm going 1, 2 to get to the x-axis. Therefore, I'm going to keep counting 1, 2. 2, and this is now my A prime, okay? My B, I'm going to count 1, 2 to get to the x-axis. Therefore, I'm going to count 1, 2 to get to my B prime. Remember, B prime, the prime indicates that's the new image. Then I'm going to go to C, and it doesn't matter what order you do them. You're all doing the same thing. So here, I'm doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So now I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, and this becomes my C prime. And I'm going to draw, because it asks me to draw my image. Okay, so this is my original, and this is my new. Okay, and if you notice, I flipped it over the x-axis. So let's see what our new points are. Well, A originally was negative 5, negative 2. Okay, because remember we always go horizontal, then we go vertical. So A prime is still at negative 5 for our x value, but what is our y value? Our y value is positive 2. Okay, what about B? It's at negative 1, negative 2. All right, I agree with that, negative 1, negative 2. So now our B prime is at negative 1, positive 2. All right, let's look at C. It was at negative 3, negative 5 on the original, okay? Now it is at negative 3 and positive 5. So my question to you is, looking at A and A prime, B and B prime, C and C prime, what changed? What would you answer that question if I had asked you? Well, what I notice, the x values are all the same, but the y values, what changed? What changed here? The signs of the y's. Okay? So we can write a general rule for an x-axis reflection by saying each coordinate pair, which is our a, b, c, we change it by leaving the x alone, and this is where it's going to get tricky. This, when you don't put anything in front of it, it means just leave that, that value alone. And then they indicate this. We are going to put the opposite sign on the y. Now, you can't get this mixed up with a negative sign. This means opposite sign, okay? So, means change the sign of the y right here, okay? You can look at it at either one of those ways to say it. I will constantly say, reflect over x, change the sign of y, okay? And that's what that means. Reflect over x, change the sign of y, leave the x alone, okay? So, tell me more about this figure. When you look at this figure, now remember when I talked about orientation of a figure. Orientation means it visually looks different, okay? Because see, the C is down here on the bottom, now the C prime is on top. So the points are in different positions, but is the shape the same? In other words, could I lay this shape on top of this shape and would I have the same shape? You better believe it. So, it is congruent, so reflections maintain congruency, okay? Those two words are just a noun and a verb, okay? They're different ways of saying it. Tell me more about that. It is congruent. Why is it congruent? We're gonna get you, you need to be able to answer this. Same size, and what else? Same shape. So not only translations are congruent, reflections are congruent. All right, let's go on. Example two. I'm going to go a little faster this time, but about the same. It says triangle ABC is reflected over the y-axis. So it says draw and label the image triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. That's what it says, okay? So let's look at this. So first thing, I'm going to darken my y-axis, 
Okay, remember your y-axis is vertical. And I have to count the distance each point is from the y-axis and then go the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm going to start with A again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I'm going to go the opposite direction and I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. So there is A prime. Then I'm going to go to B. One. So I only need to move one. Here we go, and it's B prime. Then I'm going to go to C. One, two, three, and I'm going to go one, two, three, and I've got C prime. Draw my figure. Now I'm going to name my points. My A was at negative five, negative two, just like on top. And over here, I am A is at positive 5, negative 2. Okay? B prime, it was at negative 1, negative 2. Now B, B was, B prime is at positive 1, negative 2. Okay? C was at negative 3, five, negative 5. C prime is at positive 3, negative 5. Remember, we always go horizontal before we go vertical. So is it positive 3, negative 5? So, same question. What changed? What do you see that changed in the values of the points? I hope you said what changed were the signs on the axis. Okay, so to write a general rule for an x-axis reflection, for every point in the figure or the point that you want to reflect, you will change it by changing the sine of x, okay, which remember that's what that says right there when you do that. It means opposite sign or change the sign. So if it's positive, you will make it negative. If it is negative, you will make it positive. And then we didn't change the y values at all, did we? So we are going to leave the y values alone. And since it's a reflection, are they the same shape? Yes. They even are the same orientation, aren't they, this time? So they are congruent. And congruent means same shape, same size. Okay? Alright, so we've got a summary over here when you're ready. A reflection rules. Reflect across the x-axis. You're going to take each x and y coordinate pair and you are going to change it by leaving the x value alone and changing the sign on the y value. If you reflect on the y axis, you are going to take every x and y coordinate pair and change it by changing the sign on the x and leaving the y alone. You've got to get this down for reflections. Um, it's all, this sign means change the sign, okay? So let's look, let's practice writing the rules. What axis did this shape reflect over? Well, this is my original and I want you to mark these and this is my new because it's gonna become very important when we go to dilation, so just get in the habit now. And obviously I went from here to here, so I went across the X axis. How do I write the rule if I'm going across the x-axis? Reflect across the x-axis. For every x and y pair, I am going to leave my x alone and change the sign on my y. And there's my rule. Is the is image congruent or similar? Congruent, y, same size, same shape. Okay, if you write this every time, you will get in the habit and you will know what congruent means. Okay, here we go, example four. What happened here? Did we go over the X or did we go over the Y? 
This is my original. This is my new. How do I know that? Because of these right here. It tells me it's the prime. It's the new image. So I went over the y-axis this time. The rule. Every x and y pair, I'm going to change it by what? Change the sign of x, leave the sign on y alone. Does it make a difference whether I reflect over x or y? No. The image is still congruent. Y, same size, same shape. Remember, similar just means same shape not necessarily same size. Okay? Reflect point A over the x-axis to create A prime. So all I have to do is take my point A, I want to reflect over X, so I am going to darken X so I remember which way I go. That's the number one state mistake students make. They go over the wrong axis, so please do this every time. It only takes, what, a minuscule of a second. Alright? So, that means a very, very small part of a second. <laughs> a, I'm going to count to the x-axis. One, two. I'm going to go the opposite direction. One, two. And I have A prime. You always want to label anything you put on the graph. Guess what? I'm at four, negative two. Now, what is the coordinate of four, A prime? Four, what? Positive two. Ooh, I almost made the mistake and wrote the, the coordinate for A, okay, 4, 2. All right, so that is my 4, 2. The last thing I want to say is this. Your coordinate pairs, your X's are positive, your Y's are positive in this area. All right, if I was to reflect over the X-axis, what happens? Well, my X's are still positive, but my Y's, the signs change. So either way, it's going to happen like that. And it doesn't matter if it's here or here. Your X's are going to stay the same, but your Y's are going to change. And that's where we get our rule. All right? And so then if you're going over the Y axis, it's all about here. Um, if you have a negative X, you have a positive Y. All right, these are your negative x's, positive y. If you go this way, you're going to have a negative. Then here, you end up with a positive, positive. So here, your x's change. So that's where we get these rules. Flip over the y, change the sign of x. Flip over x, change the sign of y. Remember, this little thing means change the sign. It does not mean make it negative. Okay? Change the sign. You have a quick practice today. Uh, you became familiar with that with uh, translations. So please do your quick practice. It shouldn't take too long. And then guess what? We have a spiral practice one for you, and now we have a spiral practice two. You need to make sure you're getting those spiral practices done. They are short, they won't take you very long, but they are. I want to see all your strategies on those. All right, if I don't see strategies, I don't care if you got the answer right or not, I'm not going to mark it correct, and these are for grades. All right, have a great day, and talk to you. See you soon.